Hi guys, and welcome to your next to last week uh, first year seminar. I know it's been a busy uh, six weeks and uh, we are getting close to the end. I just wanted to touch base real quick and go over what we have uh, for this week for week five. Um, first of all, I want to point out that if you have not completed your week three computer competency exams, remember those are absolutely mandatory in order to pass the class. So you need to make sure you have four of the six completed. You don't have to do all six exams, but you do have to finish four of six. If you are in a position where you have not completed at least four of those six, you need to contact me via email or text ASAP um, so I can tell you what you need to do from here. Um, but going back to uh, week five, this is this week's work. These are our last set of assignments and uh, we will be getting to our final exam um, next week. And it's not a final exam in that you have to study or a quiz or a time test, uh, but it's just really a final two or three assignments of reflection. And so we'll talk about that next week. Um, but for this week, you have the following assignments. Um, this week is all about finishing up some study skills, but also kind of starting into career exploration, which we had a little more time, but with it being an abbreviated course, we're not going to get a lot into career exploration, but just enough to kind of get you thinking and moving that way. So the uh, first is a discussion. It's called, What is Your Goal? And so this is going to be a discussion post where you um, think about the question of um, what is your career goal? Why is this your career goal? What interests you about this career? And don't just guess. It says there, you know, make sure that you are, don't say, well, I want to be a nurse because they make like, and you're just guessing how much they make a year. Make sure you've done the research and you uh, know exactly what that is. The next assignment that we want to uh, talk about is uh, one called the elevator pitch. So there's a website here that you're going to want to click on and go to. Um, an elevator pitch basically it gets its name from the fact that if you were uh, getting onto an elevator and when you uh, boarded the elevator you looked over and you realized the CEO or the head of the organization that you most wanted to work for is standing in the elevator with you. You close the door and basically you have 60 seconds of ride up on the elevator to give them um, a rundown of who you are, why you want to be in the career that you're in, and why they would benefit from giving you the opportunity to have an interview, an internship, something that way. So um, look at the website. It's going to give you some more information um, about how to create one. And you do not have to record your um, elevator pitch. I you typically, um, if you would rather, you can. Um, but as long as it is a typed out on Word document, what you would say. So you can actually type it out. But remember, the link should be, if you only type out four sentences, there's no way that's 30 to 60 seconds. Um, and so, but in the same respect, two pages is way more than that. So just um, as you read it, if it's 30 to 60 seconds, you'll know that that's right. So you've got this elevator pitch. If you have questions about that, you can call me, we can do a Zoom. Uh, the next assignment is a note-taking assignment. There are three uh, videos here about note-taking. You do not have to watch all three. Many students do and they find that they enjoy them, but you just have to choose one, pick it, watch it, and then you have to give me a response um, of that video. So eight to 12 sentences in paragraph form. What were the main points of the video? What did you learn from it? And did you like the format of the video? Um, so that's a pretty easy one. The next one is I need you to screenshot for me the um, uh, a, a picture of your up and coming semester schedule. So whatever you're planning on taking for the fall, I need a, a, a picture of that that you can load. And if you're not attending, uh, CF next semester, you can do an alternative assignment and that assignment would be to um, give me a six to eight sentence paragraph on why you're not going to be going to college. And it doesn't matter why, I just need to know why. Maybe you're taking a semester off so you can work full time because you have some things that have come up. Maybe you are taking a semester out for um, to help with family situations. Maybe you're taking a semester out because you've decided nursing isn't what you want to do and you've got to kind of regroup. Um, maybe you're taking a semester off because you're going to be transferring in the spring to the university and you wanted a semester off between the two. Whatever the case may be, um, write up six to eight sentences and let me know if you, uh, or otherwise take a screenshot of your um, 
schedule. And then the last one is what we call a study aid assignment. You have six choices here, um, something that helps you to study, whether it's making flashcards, using smart thinking, um, using a OneNote notebook, um, maybe a study guide that you type into Word um, or that you handwrite. There is a prep step that we have available through CF that kind of helps um, with tutoring. So basically you're gonna choose one of these six and then um, there's one about videos. You can't do the same note-taking video, but you could do an additional one. Um, and then you're going to write up for me um, what you, you're gonna facilitate one of these. So you're either gonna be taking pictures and uploading it of your flashcards. Um, you can do that electronically as well. Um, you could do um, a picture of your OneNote uh, notebook. Any of these will work. And that should be the last assignment that you have uh, for this week. So if you are, um, if you are uh, wondering um, what this week is about, that hopefully this video will help. But if you have more questions on top of what you've just seen, uh, as always, reach out, send me a text, an email. Um, I'm happy to help. And towards the end of the week or at the very beginning of next week, uh, we will talk about those last two to three uh, assignments, probably more like two assignments that you're going to need to do to finish up the course and then I can uh, get grades done. But remember to make sure those computer exams are done um, and any work that you see that you're behind on or if you miss something, you need to get with me about that as soon as possible. You guys have got this week. I'm so proud of the work that's being turned out.